Well, to begin with, I, I, I'm a Buddhist scholar. I studied Chinese Buddhism. I did my PhD in the history of Chinese Buddhism. Then I met uh, Professor John Lockaway from Paris. So he challenged me that he, he is a field worker. He visited many villages in China. So uh, he was a visiting scholar in the Chinese university. And he told me a lot of things that I don't know. So he challenged me that maybe I should go to the village with him. So then I, one year I went to the village with him and I find out that there was a lot of things that was not, uh, that cannot be read from textbooks, from books. So then that I started to go to the field with him uh, regularly. And that's how I started my field work. And once I started, I, I cannot stop. So I uh, go back every year and then apply for fundings and to do a study uh, in village. So basically studying Chinese religion from the perspective of, of the villages. Uh, for instance, how Buddhism was practiced in, in village. One example is in a village in Fujian, all women uh, has to uh, practice the recitation of Buddha's name. Uh, we call it Jie uh, Zhu, uh, but that's a Chinese. Huh? Uh, so the Pure Land Buddhism was practiced in a village uh, in a way very different from what we understand from, from the textbook. Uh, all women, for instance, when they reached after, uh, when they reached the age of 50, they have to start uh, so practicing recitation of the Buddha's name. And uh, they have to, there's a ritual that everyone has to receive the rot, uh, what do you call, rotary. Uh, what, what do you call those? Uh, <laughs> rosary? Uh, rosary, yeah, rosary. Uh, so, uh, and then start, start uh, reciting the Buddha's name. So I, I, then I, I said to myself, wow, this is pure land Buddhism, <laughs> but quite different from what we, we learned from the textbook.